Sandwiches, the state sandwich of Florida. It's, it's our sandwich. It originated here. I can't say where exactly because apparently there's a debate between whether it started in Mexico not Mexico, Miami, and Tampa? I, I don't know. If you ever come to Florida, you, you need to try this sandwich. If you're Jewish or don't eat pork, replace it with turkey. It might not be a Cuban, but honestly, that, that might just, that might be a really good sandwich though. You might have to try that. My girlfriend's probably like watching this right now, like really? Can't leave Florida without trying the sandwich, huh? I, I promise, next time you are here, I will take you to a place that has the same. Actually, I know a place where we can go to get the sandwich. If they're not open, I'll just make you one. It, it's fine. We're gonna try and do this as accurately as possible, but you know, hope I don't make anybody mad. Fun thing. Okay, let's let's do a little thing, right? See how many times I change shirts, and then comment how many times you notice in the comments below. Oh my gosh, he changed shirts like seven times. Why do you do so many changes? But yeah, let's get into these sandwiches because I'm hungry. All right, first things first, we need to make our marinade. So, juice, three limes. I, I feel like I've been saying lemons this whole time. Five cloves of garlic, or four, they're really big. A half a cup of orange juice, one fourth of a cup of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of olive oil, and one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. You're also going to add in a quarter cup of roughly chopped mangoes. Blend that all together until it's nice and smooth, and then we're going to dump it back out, add in two tablespoons of oregano, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of cumin, and then mix it all together. I, I don't think I got a shot of me putting the cumin in there for some reason, which is really weird, but yeah. Anyways, mix that all together, and then you're going to pour it over your pork shoulder or whatever. Also, also, also forgot, add in one fourth of a cup of brown sugar. I forgot the brown sugar personally, but you want that because it's going to add a little bit of sweetness to the backside of your pork. So, yeah. Anyways, your pork shoulder, you need to get that prepped. Poke some holes in it. This is going to let the marinade get inside of the pork shoulder. You're also going to score the fat cap and then you're going to put it into a bag pour your marinade over it and yeah that's that's really it leave that in your fridge overnight or for six hours but you really want to do this overnight and then uh yeah that's you're, you're good to go once that is ready you're going to take the pork shoulder out put it onto a wire rack oh gosh i can't think of the word for this but anyway, you can put it on a baking tray with like the little wire rack thing on it and you're gonna pour your marinade over it get all the limes out get everything there and you're gonna cook it until it is 145 internal temperature and let it rest for at least 10 to 15 minutes all right do not eat this before it's ready next you're gonna cut off a couple pieces you know, get, 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 test for juices, I guess, I don't know. Cut off a couple pieces, and then make sure you chop them up. You don't wanna just put big old pieces of pork shoulder on your sandwich. And now it's time to assemble the sandwich. Heat those pieces of pork shoulder up until you can get like a nice crust on them. And then, now it's time to assemble the sandwich. All right, Cuban bread. Use Cuban bread. Do not use no weird, don't use white bread, wonder bread, anything like that. Sorry for the beep, but yeah. Use Cuban bread, all right? So it's the right bread. Can't stress this enough. All right, cool. So now that you got your bread, you're gonna mustard both sides of the bread. Do not, don't don't be skimpy on the mustard, all right? You, you want to mustard both sides. After that, you're going to do ham, Swiss, your pork shoulder, pickles, and then cloves, and you're ready. And to prep your bread for the griddle, you're gonna butter the top, then you're going to butter the bottom side of the griddle, and then you're just gonna press, and after that you have the most amazing sandwich you're ever gonna put in your mouth. Trust me. All right, now for a bonus recipe this week. Heat up some shredded pork from last week's episode, add that to your sandwich, add two more slices of Swiss cheese, some of our spicy pickles, and then give that another good press, and you have an even more elevated Cuban sandwich. And that is how you properly make a Cuban sandwich. Honestly thought that adding the pulled pork from last episode would kind of like 
enhance the flavor. Not gonna lie, it really didn't add much. Who would have thought? But if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.